States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What was your name again? Duke Steel? I think it was Duke Steel. You're too late, Duke Steel. The device is already armed. You didn't think the chickens would come home to roost? You gotta pay for your tomfoolery. Your horseplay. You cowering around. Hey, you mean just like your son did? My son. My son. Pew. Oh, sorry to cut this short, Duke, but it looks like my ride's here. Not so fast. No, 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 no. We gotta get this disarmed quick. I need, I need to use this device. Oh, it's too tough. I can't do it. Heart and soul! That's for you. Good morning, my shores. These are your daily announcements for Friday, April 17, 2015. I'm Noah. And I'm Dugan. Seniors interested in speaking at commencement, please see Mrs. Crass in room 305 today to sign up for an audition time slot and pick up information about audition and requirements. Auditions will be held April 20th through the 22nd. So only students who sign up in advance will be permitted to audition. Seniors, Decision Day is May 1st. This is a state initiative to recognize seniors on their post-secondary plans. We would love to add your name and the college or technical school you will be attending to our college map by the counseling office. Hashtag college bound sailor wristbands will be ordered for all those students committing to post-secondary plans. Stop by the counseling office to sign up on the list so you can have your name added to the map. Seniors, if you want to be a part of the senior slideshow, please get your senior picture and baby picture to Mr. Drosky on May 1st. If you want the same picture as the yearbook, we only need your baby picture. Please email your pictures to Mr. Drosky at droskyd at monoshores.net. Seniors, the MTC rep will be visiting during 4th and 5th hour. She will be available in the Media Center to help fill out an application or answer scholarship questions. Passes will be sent to those students who have expressed interest in MCC. Jayhawk Pride. Jayhawks. Seniors, each year only one senior from Motor Shores High School is selected in the Jack Cooper Social Studies Award. This prestigious Social Studies Award provides the winner with a $50 gift card, an engraved pen or pencil, and their name engraved on the Social Studies plaque. Each senior interested in this award must pick up an application from Mr. Jewett or Mr. Kregel and have this application turned in by Thursday to Mr. Jewett. That young lad. Please check the lost and found in the front office for any missing articles you may have. All articles will be gone Monday. The Sarah's Log is looking for your nominee for an Educator of the Year. You may nominate any high school staff member, teacher, counselor, custodian, etc. Simply send a letter to Mr. Kent, room 501, or V email to kentwmonashores.net telling us why you think the educator should win the award. Letters are judged on content, not the number of nominations. A nominee receives. Letters are due Friday, May 1st, and the winner will be announced in the June 3rd edition of the Sailor's Log. Guest approval forms for prom are now available in the front office. In order to buy a ticket for a guest, this form must be completed and turned in prior to Wednesday, April 29th. 
Seniors, if you are enrolled at MCC but still need a schedule or orientation, then this is for you. On May 1st, you will have the opportunity to attend the orientation, learn how to register for classes, and see the counselor at MCC. Transportation, transportation will be provided, but there is a $2 fee. The bus will be leaving the high school at 7.55 a.m. return by 1 p.m. You will need to bring a sack, lunch, or you can buy a lunch. If you're interested in MCC orientation, sign up in the counseling office. You must be enrolled and have already taken the compass test. We would like to send best wishes to our building's Destination Imagination Advancing teams. They will be representing Mona Shore schools at the Michigan Affiliate slash State Competition tomorrow at Central Michigan University in Mount Pleasant. We have 12 teams from Mona Shore's advancing this year. In the technical division, we have Katie Pletcher's team of Marissa Pletcher, Ashlyn Thompson, Helen Lee, and Julia Kwapazinski and Grant Cooper. In the scientific division and structural division, we have Angela Ouellette's team of Hannah Weller, Danielle Wisner, good luck and safe travels. Seniors, there are a few new scholarships in the counseling office. The middle school staff scholarship, the high school staff scholarship, the Derek Sagan's Memorial Scholarship, and the Sailor Classic Athletic Scholarship. Check the announcements page for more details. Seniors, JASA representatives will be at the school on Wednesday during lunch to deliver your graduation products and cap and gowns. Your order must be picked up at this time. If you will not be at school during this time, please make arrangements to have someone pick it up for you. Your order must be paid in full to receive it. No checks can be accepted on the day of delivery. Cash or money order only. Shores High School, um, I pride myself in showing engagement by ensuring that I'm supporting our students and our staff and all the many activities from sporting events to fine art events to things that are happening in the classroom and uh, really just helping our staff and students be uh, the very best that they can. So really supporting and encouraging is the things that I focus on to help engagement at Mona Shores High School. This is Sailor Country, we're with pride. I just got a haircut. The varsity baseball team fell to Zeeland East last night by a score of 10 to nothing. Dugan Dieselberg and Tyler Travenger each singled to lead the offense. The varsity softball team split a doubleheader with Whitehall, winning the first game 9 to 8 and falling in the second game 7 to 5. In game 1, the Sailors came back from a 7-0 deficit to win it in the bottom of the 7th. Kayla Savakul led the off offensive going two for four with four RBI, including a bases loaded double. Mackenzie Willicke and Mackenzie Lund also had two hits while junior Desi Parker picked up the win, striking out four. In game two, Megan Crane battled on the mound, striking out five. Nicole Witham had two hits. The Sailors put the tying runs on in the seventh but couldn't drive them home. The Sailors are now five and three on the season. Today in Spore Rats, the track team competes in Reese Puffer Invitational. The varsity golf team competes in the OK Jamboree at the Mines Golf Course. The varsity baseball team will host West Catholic. The JV baseball team travels to West Catholic. And the freshman baseball team travels to Wayland Union. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a fantastic Friday and a good weekend. I love you.
pick up information about auditions, requirements. That's weird because I was in two different lines. <sighs> she will be available in the media center to help fill out an application or interest squal scholar scholarships. <laughs> In the technical division, we have Katie Fletcher, the team of Maris Melis Marissa. She's our manager, and I don't know how to say her name. It'll be representing <laughs> Father Time. <laughs> <laughs>